welcome to Friday Friendly Kitchen. In our edition today, we are celebrating the feast of Saint Joseph. Saint Joseph, the husband of the Virgin Mary, and also the foster father of Jesus. So, in our feast today, let us learn how to make the tapioca cake, which is dedicated to Saint Joseph. So, without further delay, let us get into the kitchen. Dear viewers, to begin this uh, tapioca cake for the Feast of St. Joseph, we have to preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit or 175 Celsius, which I have already preheated. The next step is we have to line this tray. So for that I'm using some cooking oil and grease them. As we have finished greasing, now we have to add the banana leaf and I will measure the banana leaf according to the tray. Also, we need to cut this part, the stem, just slowly so that it could bend very well. And then, we also need to get the measurement of the tray on the other corner. And now we can just put the leaf underneath. And the tray is already lined and now we can go to the next step. Dear viewers, and the next step is we are going to use grated cassava which is a frozen cassava which I got it from the local gro uh, Asian grocery store. And I, I'm using two packets so it's two pounds, each is a pound. So it's 454 grams each and I have to use them for to remove the excess liquid that is contained in the cassava.
with the help of the spatula you can just remove whatever there is extra in the packet. And with this, a piece of cloth and also a strainer in the bottom, as you can see, I'm going to squeeze out the liquid. As much as you can. You can just play around and it will just pour it out. The next step is I have to wait for the starch to come down and the water will rise. So when the water gets separated from the starch and we will throw out the water and we will use the starch only. The next step is I break them down. We will require a bigger bowl. I will just transfer them. Dear viewers, and our next step is mis mixing all together. So I'm going to start off by mixing salt into the coconut milk. And I will explain to you about this coconut milk. I used a pre uh, di uh, de dehydrated coconut powder. I used two, two packets of this with one cup of hot water. And for th with this, I will add about half a teaspoon of salt. And because it's a feast of St. Joseph, I'm not going to use any artificial coloring, but I'm going to use natural coloring. And this is turmeric powder, which will give you a natural dye. So I'm going to use quarter teaspoon, about this much. And whisk it.
the reason why I use turmeric powder is because in my culture traditionally for any events that we try to use natural dye or natural coloring so this is uh, St. Joseph's feast is a it's a solemnity first class solemnity in the Catholic calendar so it is uh, it is something very auspicious and holy so for this I'm not going to use anything that is artificial coloring for food coloring or anything this is a natural color next I'm adding one cup of sugar into the coconut milk and continue whisking and with this I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract spoons of vanilla extract and continue whisking until the sugar dissolves And with this uh, tapioca, that is a grated tapioca, and I'm going to add one cup of freshly grated coconut. And now we will gradually add the uh, the mixture, the, the thick coconut milk, little bit by little bit. I'm adding a half first, and I fold, and I folding it. And this is a gluten-free. Everybody is encouraged to make and eat and those who are having gluten tolerant or gluten allergies with wheat, this is a suitable dish that for anyone to eat.
dear viewers and now it can be transferred into the line As you place into the pan, uh, just spread them well. And now viewers, we will just wrap it up with the aluminium foil. This is to prevent from browning and later we will remove the pan. Uh, the aluminum foil will be removed later and uh, this is to prevent the browning and uh, we have to bake for 45 minutes to an hour but I would say 45 minutes is good enough and uh, let's put it in the oven. Hello viewers, now it has been 30 minutes um, and I took it out from the oven and uh, it is looking good. At this moment, I'm going to put back into the oven for another 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes for it to be brown. And I will reduce the temperature from 350 to 250. Hello viewers, now this is the uh, end product of the uh, St. Joseph's tapioca cake. It's very buttery and if you want to reduce the amount of butter from a half a cup to a quarter cup, you may do so. So this is what and we will have to wait until it gets cool off completely, then we will cut it out and uh, we will meet later. and when the cake has already been cooled. Hello viewers and the cassava cake has been already cooled off and so now I have to cut it and show you how it will be. I have cut into four portions and this is the texture of the cake has been so and now we can slice them and serve them. Hello viewers and this is our end product for the St. Joseph's tapioca cake or the, for the Feast of St. Joseph and I wish that you will try and I just wanted to let you know the mixing of the butter you should mix it before you bake that is with the batter I made a mistake and I sincerely apologize on that and uh, I will I mean and keep, do try them and let me know in your comment if you feel that the butter is half cup is too much you may reduce it to half to a quarter cup so uh, I wish you all the best in trying this uh, tapioca cake or the cassava cake for the feast of St. Joseph St. Joseph pray for us goodbye and see you in my next video